Today, we're talking about something that seems to be in absolutely everything now, AI. It powers your camera's vision system, it writes half the emails you get, it generates entire feeds of cringe posts, and it lets people apply minimal effort at work while pretending they're more productive than ever. But when it comes to actually running AI, you need dedicated hardware. And if you want to run it locally, not in the cloud where somebody can throttle you or bill you for even just breathing, there's one family of devices that consistently punches above its weight, the NVIDIA Jetson Rage. So in this episode of Behind the Tech, we're looking at the four major Jetson products, what makes them good, how they stack up against each other, and where each one fits best. So let's get straight into it. If you want to get a 5% discount on your next Jetson AI Accelerator board, check out the Seed Studio link in the description. Before we can jump into the selection of goodies that we want to feature, we first need to look at what AI applications actually need. AI is one of the fastest moving technologies on the planet right now. Every day, there's a new model, a new paper, or a new feature claiming to redefine everything. But underneath all of that noise, the computation is surprisingly simple. AI doesn't need the kind of computer you throw at a game or a web server. It isn't trying to push complex branching logic or massive physics calculations. What it does need is the ability to perform unbelievably simple math operations, such as addition and multiplication, over and over again at massive scale that your CPU could never handle. And that's why AI performs terribly on CPUs. Even those chunky server-grade monsters with hundreds of cores running at high gigahertz speeds. They simply aren't designed for the kind of parallel repetition neural networks thrive on. GPUs, however, are perfect. GPUs consist of thousands of tiny cores, all crunching those simple operations at the same time in parallel. It's the perfect architecture for AI, and it's why NVIDIA is currently swimming in money. In fact, because of the explosive nature of AI markets, NVIDIA has doubled down hard on AI, producing hardware built specifically for it, such as the H100. For big AI models like LLMs and advanced vision systems, they need to live in data centers due to the huge compute requirements involved, and that's great for most users. You get massive compute, shared infrastructure, and somebody else is worrying about paying the electrical bill. But if you're building something that actually moves through the real world, such as a robot, drone, or autonomous vehicle, those data centers might as well be on the moon, because nine out of 10 times, you need an AI that can run locally. This is because in these applications, factors such as latency and data privacy dominate. So using a remote data center to process data doesn't really make sense. Latency could easily be in the hundreds of milliseconds and you have absolutely no idea who has access to the data stored in the cloud. But when running AI locally, it can't be power hungry as such applications often rely on portable power sources like batteries. Even if they have mains power, high power consumption can be expensive and present issues with a localized power distribution. Thus, local AI needs to run with reduced model sizes, offering low latency, high efficiency, and enough accuracy not to drive your robot into a wall. While many companies have been building AI accelerators to help them with these applications, one platform rose to the top, NVIDIA Jetson. Jetson boards are built for low power consumption, local inference, and serious on-device performance. They can handle demanding edge AI workloads and do it without needing a rack of servers or a small nuclear reactor. This is what makes Jetson so dominant in robotics, automation, and any project where the AI needs to live right next to the sensors. While there are a good number of various Jetson modules and varying flavors of each, we will instead cover four major devices from the Jetson lineup. And these are the Jetson Nano, Xavier NX, Orin NX, and the AGX Orin. Each one of these modules has its strengths. Each one has its ideal use case, and together they cover everything from hobby tier edge AI to industrial grade autonomous machines. Now, to best compare each of these options to each other, we will be comparing them across the major categories for AI accelerators, and they are processing capability, power consumption, target application, and form factor. Let's break down the raw processing capability of each Jetson module, starting at the entry level and working our way up. First, the Jetson Nano. 
This one runs on NVIDIA's Maxwell architecture with 128 CUDA cores. It's powered by a quad-core ARM Cortex-A57 processor and paired with 4GB of LPDDR4 running at 25.6GB per second. In terms of performance, you get around half a teraflop of FP16 compute. And just like the rest of the lineup, it supports the full NVIDIA Jetpack stack, including CUDA, TensorRT, CUDNN, DeepStream, and all the latest AI toolchains. Next, the Xavier NX. Here, you move up to a 384-core Volta GPU with 48 tensor cores. The CPU also steps up to a 6-core NVIDIA Carmel ARM V8.2 setup, with a combined 10 megabytes of cache. Memory options include 8 or 16 gigabytes of LPDDR4X across a 128-bit interface, delivering almost 60 gigabytes per second. This module delivers 21 tops of AI performance and fully supports the Jetpack ecosystem. Now the Orin NX. This one uses an Ampere GPU and an ARM Cortex A7A AE CPU. When we talk about performance, it depends on both the memory size and the power mode. The Orin NX 8GB delivers up to 70 tops in standard mode and up to 117 tops when running in super mode. The Orin NX 16GB steps that up with up to 100 tops in standard mode or up to 157 tops in super mode. So the jump in performance comes from a combination of memory configurations and power modes, not just a single setting. You get 1024 CUDA cores, 32 tensor cores, lossless compression, tile caching, OpenGL 4.6 and OpenGL ES 3.2 support. It runs the full Jetpack stack and in its 16GB configuration includes two NVDLA engines running at up to 640MHz. And at the top of the stack sits the AGX Orin. This one carries a 2048 core Ampere GPU with 64 tensor cores and delivers up to 275 tops of AI compute. The CPU is a 12 core ARM Cortex A78AE with 9 megabytes of combined cache. It comes with 64 gigabytes of LPDDR5 across a 256 bit interface, delivering over 200 gigabytes per second of bandwidth. And of course, it supports the full Jetpack software stack. Now, let's talk power. The Jetson Nano sits at the bottom of the power chart, or the top depending on your view on power consumption as a factor. The model runs between 5 and 10 watts, making it the lowest power option in the entire lineup. Next is the Xavier NX. Its power draw ranges from 10 to 20 watts, giving it the second lowest power consumption while still delivering a serious jump in performance. Then we have the Orin NX. With this one, power is configurable across multiple modes, typically 10 to 40 watts, depending on the performance profile. And at the top, the AGX Orin, which supports multiple configurable power modes, scaling up to higher wattage for maximum performance. Now let's look at the form factor and cost. The Jetson Nano comes in at 69.6 by 45 millimeters. It's the smallest and the cheapest option with prices typically starting around $99. The Xavier NX uses the exact same 69.6 by 45 millimeter card size. Its price lands in the mid range, usually in the mid 500 and above. The Orin NX also keeps the same 69.6 by 45 millimeter footprint, but its price is higher, often $800 or more, depending on the configuration. And then there's the AGX Orin. It moves up to a larger 100 by 87 millimeter module and carries the highest price tag in the lineup, usually around over $1,000. Now let's break down where each Jetson module is actually meant to be used. Starting with the Jetson Nano, this one is ideal for small local AI tasks, basic vision decoding and lightweight predictive maintenance applications. It's the go-to for simple edge intelligence without needing heavy compute. The Xavier NX steps into more serious territory. It's commonly used in commercial robots, medical instruments, smart cameras and smart factory environments. Anywhere you need reliable AI performance in a compact, efficient package, the Xavier NX fits well. The Orin NX pushes further into advanced workloads. It's built for next generation robotics, local LLMs and demanding vision inference. This is the module you pick when you need real power at the edge without going full industrial behemoth. And finally, the AGX Orin. This is the heavy hitter. 
It's used for large language models, complex smart camera setups, self-driving systems, autonomous machines, and high-end robotics. If you need maximum capability and you have the power budget to support it, the AGX Orin is the top tier choice. Just before we finally go through the overall breakdown to see how each module fares, I think it's worth mentioning a really cool bonus feature that you will definitely find useful, the Jetson Product Selection Tool. If you found this list confusing or complicated, you're definitely not the only one. There are a lot of features to keep track of, and what we've covered here is only a fraction of what these modules can do. And remember, each module gets paired with a carrier board, and those carriers come in their own set of features, interfaces, and limitations. So picking the right combination can get messy. That's where the Seed Studio NVIDIA Jetson Selector comes in. You work through a set of guided questions about your application, your power needs, your performance requirements, and your interfaces. Based on that, it points you towards the Jetson module that actually fits what you're trying to build. Whether you need specific tops, memory capacity, or bus features, it's all included and it's an incredibly handy tool. So with all that information in hand, it's time to break down everything we have learned and see how these modules really compare. The Jetson Nano is firmly an entry level and now largely legacy platform. It is only suited for very small AI models, basic vision tasks, and education. With limited performance, limited memory, and no real headroom for modern AI workloads, it's not a future-proof option for new commercial designs. The Xavier NX is where the Jetson platform becomes truly production-ready and future-facing. It can handle real-time vision and robotics workloads at moderate power levels, making it ideal for commercial and industrial applications where efficiency, longevity, and software support matters. It strikes a strong balance between performance, power, and long-term viability. The Orin NX delivers a clear generational leap in performance and marks a transition to modern edge AI capabilities. It is built to run transformer-based vision models and compact local LLMs in real-time, making it well-suited for systems that need to remain relevant as AI models continue to grow. The AGX Orin sits in a separate performance class altogether and represents the long-term, future-proof end of the Jetson lineup. It enables fully autonomous systems, complex multi-sensor fusion, and vehicle-scale AI workloads that will remain viable for many years of deployment and software evolution. In terms of deployment, the Nano targets ultra-low power use cases, but it trades that for severe performance limits. The Xavier NX delivers production-grade performance within manageable thermal budgets, while the Orin NX and the AGX Orin require active cooling to unlock their full, future-ready performance. The Nano, Xavier NX, and Orin NX share the same compact module size, which makes migration away from Nano towards Xavier or Orin a practical upgrade path without carrier redesign. This is one of the strongest arguments for avoiding Nano in new designs. Cost scales directly with capability. The Nano may appear attractive at the low end, but its limited lifespan and performance cap often makes it a false economy. Xavier and Orin platforms carry higher upfront costs, but they deliver long-term usability, software support, and deployment viability. Finally, choosing the right Jetson Nano is more than just about raw tops alone. Power budgets, thermal limits, software longevity, and the size and complexity of your AI models are the real drivers behind selecting a module that will still be viable for five years from now. To conclude, the Jetson range clearly shows how far Edge AI has come, and just as importantly, where it's going to go next. The Jetson Nano remains an accessible entry point for learning and experimentation, but it's no longer a forward-looking platform for new commercial development. Its role today is more educational, not strategic. The Xavier NX firmly occupies the future-proof professional embedded space. It delivers reliable performance for commercial robotics, vision systems, and industrial automation, with the headroom and software support needed for long-term deployment. The Orin NX represents the shift towards serious local inference at the edge. It can run modern vision pipelines and compact LLMs in real time, bringing what was previously data center class inference into practical embedded systems. For production deployments today, AGX Orin remains the most powerful widely available Jetson platform. It offers the highest performance headroom and the most mature ecosystem for demanding edge AI workloads. What truly sets Jetson apart is not just its raw performance, 
It's the NVIDIA's software ecosystem, CUDA, TensorRT, and long-term tooling support that make Xavier and Orin platforms the safest, future-proof investment in embedded AI today. Choosing the right Jetson is more than just picking the most powerful board. It's about ensuring your processing capability, power envelope, and budget align with the future direction of AI workloads, not just today's requirements. As AI continues to move out of the cloud and into vehicles, factories, and robots, platforms like Xavier and AGX Orin will form the backbone of deployable edge intelligence rather than short-term development hardware. From a £99 learning platform to multi-thousand-pound autonomous system controllers, Jetson covers the full spectrum. But if your goal is long-term, production-grade, future-proof AI, then the real starting point today is Xavier, not the Nano. Well, that's all we have time for today in this episode for Behind the Tech. If you like what we do here at Electromaker and want to get your hands on the hardware shown in this episode, then head over to the official C Studio store where you can grab that sweet, sweet 5% discount, which you can get by using the link down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Robin Mitchell, and I'll see you next time.